Hi everyone, I'm Nick Scarpino and this is another Hot Pepper Game Review. Today I'm going to be reviewing Axiom Verge, which is made by Tom Happ. Not a developer, just one guy. Uh, he actually made the game over a four year span and it's uh, pretty awesome, but we're going to get into it. Before I do that, for some unknown reason, I'm going to eat this, which has been described to me as the orangest of all habanero peppers. Uh, and then we're going to try to get through this. By the way, my heart is beating fast right now. Do I need to start a timer? No? Just go? Just suck it up, buttercup. Kevin, if I die, tell my wife. Well, you know it's tell my wife. And delete all my porn. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's not terrible so far. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's definitely when you swallow it is when it kind of hits you. <clears throat> All right, Axiom Verge is a Metroid-style game. It's got a, uh, it's pretty awesome, actually. It's got a heavy sci-fi theme, uh, which includes the music, which right in the intro screen, you know you're getting into something cool. Very, very nostalgic. Whew, very 16-bit. Um, and the level design is, is phenomenal. It is, uh, wow. It makes your heart just kind of pump, you know what I mean? Oh, I'm getting into it. Um... What can I say about this game? There's a lot of pros to it. The level design is fantastic. It keeps you sort of, um, it keeps you wanting more, even though it continually progresses as you level up. And you try to find all the items that you possibly can, including uh, all the guns. And let me tell you, I finished this game after eight. <sighs> I gotta use a little Miyagi. All right, um, you, uh, I finished this game at eight, after 18 hours and I had I found 89% uh, of the map and about 58% of the items. So there's still a lot of gameplay. It is a vast game. It's beautifully designed. You end up memorizing the map after a certain point and it really pushes you. The boss battles start off really easy and they immediately get hard just like they used to in your childhood. Uh, some of the cons, not many. None that I can think of. I mean, the game is pretty solidly built. You don't see any glitches other than the ones that he wants you to see, which is built very into the gameplay. Um, you've got awesome mechanics like the Axiom Disruptor, which you can level up. <sighs> There's not much beyond that. You know, I think it's, it's a really solid game. It really took me by surprise. I love it. I love the style. You play as Trace, uh, a, a scientist who gets sucked into this kind of uh, crazy dimensional world where you have to, uh, I don't want to spoil the plot for you, but you have to save um, a group of alternate beings that are at war together. The art style is very much uh, infused with that sort of Geiger-esque style, um, where you're going from level to level and it gets just kind of weirder and weirder and stranger and stranger. But the control of the game is fantastic. You're going to love it if you like platformers, if you like uh, uh, Metroidvania-style games. This is definitely the game to get and check out. Um, again, it's Axiom Verge. I loved it by Tom Hap. Uh, I give this game a 5 out of 5 hot peppers because it is very much like this some bitch, which uh, is uh, not going away. It's not going away, and I feel like, just like Axiom Verge, uh, this uh, this pepper is going to be with me tomorrow and probably the next day, and in perpetuity. Uh, I give this pepper a five out of five peppers, and I think that's all I have to do. Can I please drink the milk? Video. Make sure. You Jesus. <sighs> so that's my review of Axiom Verge. I hope you liked it. Make sure to like and subscribe to uh, Hot Pepper Gaming if you want more of this kind of crazy content, and leave a comment on this video. Uh, once you've played Axiom Bridge, let me know your favorite stage. Mine is the intro music where he goes... <laughs> it's super side. Oh! I just inhaled the pepper. Okay. Uh, also, make sure to follow me at Nick underscore Scarpino on Twitter. And subscribe to Kind of Funny Games, youtube.com forward slash Kind of Funny Games, where we do not crazy stuff like this, but kind of crazy stuff. Kind mm. Just keep going. Kind of crazy stuff like this all the time. Thanks so much for watching. And I'm going to go for a